How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video we have our very first flash sale in MLB The Show 23. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I was not really expecting a flash sale to take place today, but uh, it's almost over. It's actually uh, currently going on the last round right now. And uh, I'm going to kind of take you through some of my ideas. There is still some time to purchase some of these cards. That's my goal is to get this video up before 4 o'clock my time, before the end of the flash sale. Um, but there's still time to buy some of these cards. This MLB All-Star Game Pack was available for 35k stubs. And it will be returning to the pack store after the flash sale is over for about 50k. So keep that in mind. If you have any of those base round uh, All-Star Game cards, you want to sell them for 25k or whatever the price is right this second. Uh, the second round of the uh, flash sale was this All Around the World Pack. Pretty solid options here. Uh, my goal was to try to get a couple of the base round players from the pre-order pack that was included in that bundle. You could get all three all around the world packs and then of course the pre-order 90 overall card. So I purchased a couple of those base players and I've already been flipping them. Uh, we also had the welcome to my show pack. This features the first round of those future star cards. So if you have you know bought and sold those cards like I mentioned uh, in one of my videos I was talking about fluctuation in those prices and factors that could affect that. Well, here it is. That's a good opportunity to buy more of those future stars. We also have a Diamond Duos pack. So this is the, the pack that's currently in the game right now, and I'll take you through kind of what it looked like. I am purchasing as many Cattell Martes as possible because he's going for about 35 to 40K, and his price was at about 60,000. So I'm trying to make about 20K or maybe a little bit less because I don't know if he'll get back to that price. But I also bought a couple of the All-Star Game cards, and I flipped those. I bought Juan Marichal for about 50 k So far, I've made about 100,000 stubs just from the flash sale, and I really wasn't able to uh, be as active as I would have liked to be because I was working. But I was uh, trying to get a few players, buy and sell a few players uh, from the community marketplace through the app. The MLB The Show companion app is pretty good for that thing. However, it was down for a portion um, but right now, you can buy this Dynamic Duos bundle, which I would not really recommend buying these packs as much as I would recommend buying the players featured in the packs. Let everybody else spend their stubs on the risk. You want to buy the players at the lowest cost possible and then flip them a few hours after the flash sale or potentially over the weekend. These cards should start to go back up to the price they were at before today uh, over the next two or three days. It might even be a little sooner than that. You kind of have to just gauge it for yourself. But if you take a look at the community marketplace as a whole, there are a lot of cards that are pretty good in terms of their value for their price, uh, for their overall. You can really build a solid team through this flash sale if you were ready for it. Um, but that's really going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and I'm going to spend about the next 30 minutes or so trying to buy and sell as many cards as I can, trying to flip my stub count in the right direction. Until next time, peace out.